Good morning, Zio here, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that now. Hit the notification button, slap a like on the video, and um, let's just get into it, shall we? Apparently, there are human rights organizations who are getting involved with the whole Blizzard thing. Uh, this stuff came out October 11th, of course, a few days ago, and uh, we're definitely late to the party on this one. So some of the information in here is a bit dated and we'll probably be saying things that, you know, things have transpired that might invalidate it and other stuff. But we're going to we're just going to go look through this anyway, because there's also a possibility of um some protests possibly at BlizzCon, which is coming up in the next few weeks as well. Uh, we haven't heard much on BlizzCon, BlizzCon yet, uh, so it'd be interesting to see how they plan to handle that this year. But uh, Access Now urges Blizzard to demonstrate its respect for human rights and to reverse it, the penalties imposed on our Stone player for expressing support for protesters in Hong Kong. Now, they have semi-reversed it. They did give him his prize money back and reduced his sentence from one year to six months, which is six months too long still, but uh, there's a start at least. But uh, New York, earlier this week, the gaming company Blizzard penalized a professional Hearthstone player suspending him for the game and stripping him of his winnings for expressing support for the protesters in Hong Kong, which of course, when this was written, was still the case. Like I said earlier, he has gotten his winnings back at least. In an open letter, which we'll take a look at real quick too, uh, to Blizzard Access now condemned the actions calling on the company to reverse the penalties imposed on the players and the streamcasters who covered the event. By penalizing a player for supporting protests, Blizzard demonstrates a lack of respect for human rights and its users and the broader fight for freedom and expression assembly, said Peter Mick Murky, Merck, <laughs> General Counsel of Access Now. Uh, Blizzard needs to reset its approach to human rights. Dissent should be playable by all games, or by all gamers, not locked in a loot box accessible only under vague corporate rules. Okay. Um, I would like to lose loot boxes, that's for sure. Surprise mechanics are horrible. I've talked about that. <laughs> A major online gaming and user communications platform, Blizzard's practice and policies have a direct impact on human rights of its users. With the power comes that responsibility to protect and respect those rights. Yet Blizzard vague policy grants the company wide discretion to arbitrarily penalize its users, which is something I totally said. When you read that actual rule, it, it really does. It grants them a wide net that they can use to go ahead and come at you for doesn't matter what it is. As a leading gaming communications platform, Blizzard should proceed on courage rather than fear. Transparency on Blizzard's content moderation policy is the first step towards accountability to its stakeholders. All right. Access now calls on Blizzard to account for its politics that affect human rights by answering the following questions. Does Blizzard commit to respect the freedom of expression of its stakeholders, including players and streamcasters? What oversight does Blizzard leadership excuse over how the company's policy and practices impacts players' freedoms of expression and other rights? Who is responsible for interpreting and enforcing the uh, competition rules? What procedures do Blizzard employees follow in determining whether its rules have been violated? What channels are available to stakeholders, including players, to appeal determinations and commit on the competition rules? Let me go ahead and answer some of those real quick, because I feel like I can for Blizzard. I mean, not as a Blizzard employee or anything, but my opinion of what the answer should be, we'll go with that. 
Does Blizzard commit to respect the freedom of expression of its stakeholders, including players and streamcasters? No. The correct answer is no, it does not. It does not respect the freedom of expression of anybody at all. What oversight does Blizzard leadership exercise over how the company's policies and practices impact players' freedoms of expression and other human rights? If you say something they don't like, they get rid of you. End of story. Who is responsible for interpreting and enforcing the competition rules? Well, duh, that one's China. I mean, come on. Has anybody else seen what's been going on lately? It's totally China. Who uh, produces do Blizzard employees follow in determining whether its rule has been violated? None. If China says it goes, it goes. What channels are available? None. <laughs> I mean, you can, I guess, contact China, but uh, they're the ones who do everything. So, the open letter. Let's take a look at open letter. This is an open letter that was sent to uh, uh, Cortic. Uh, he's the guy over uh, Blizzard right now, I believe. Anyway... Uh, Blizzard's committed to freedom of expression. Open letter, dear Mister Kortic, Korkovich, Kortic. I don't know how to say your name either. I'm bad with the names. We are writing you to, in light of the recent reports of the suspension and penalization of a Hearthstone player for expressing support for protesters in Hong Kong. We ask you to reserve the penalty and or reverse the uh, penalty and clarify Blizzard's policies and practices that affect your users' rights to freedom of expression and to clearly how your policies will implement in this incident. Access Now is a global organization working to defend and extend the rights of its users at risk. We promote the right to freely express oneself a human right ensured, enshrined in the international law in the digital age human right enshrined in international law hmm I don't know about that one I know the US has a lot of uh, human rights that we, we extend to our peoples um, that most countries don't have like freedom of speech um, most other countries don't actually have freedom of speech they've got sort of like a mock version of it but if you say the wrong thing you still can have some issues uh, but anyway so this letter and everything will be down in the description of course if you want to go ahead and take a look at all of that but uh here's another little thing i ran across which i wanted to include as well and it's gamers for freedom Freedom of expression is a fundamental human right, and it's outrageous to think that an American company would take away your money and your job simply because you want to be free from oppression. And yet, game publishers Blizzard did exactly that after Hong Kong-based pro-gamer Blitzchung advocated for his own political freedoms during a live stream. Sign our petition to tell Blizzard and the other gaming companies support free speech for gamers in Hong Kong, in America, Hong Kong, China, and everywhere else we play. So if you want to go ahead and join this Discord, sign the petition. Of course, the link for that is down below. Tell game companies that you support. Which game companies support your freedom? This, this is actually a nice little list here. Um, while some companies like Blizzard have shown a willingness to censor your free speech, other companies like Epic have pledged to support the rights of their customers, employees, fans around the world. Now we keep in score. Take a look at the list below to see where your favorite publishers and developers stand, then contact them to let them know what you think about the important issues. Bandai Namco, Bethesda, Blizzard, Bungie, CD Projekt Red, Capcom, EA, Might Censor, Epic, Won't Censor, Mutable. I, I actually don't know what that company is. Heard of it. Huh. Anyway. Microsoft, Mixer, Konami, Nexon, Nintendo, PUBG. So everybody but like two here <laughs> might censor you. Um, that's not surprising at all. Uh, the protest at BlizzCon, of course, which is what I 
started to talk about earlier. Uh, BlizzCon 2019 will be held at the Anaheim Convention Center next month. With gamers and journalists attending from around the world, BlizzCon will be the perfect opportunity to, for us to show Blizzard just how important our freedom is. Bring an umbrella, the symbol of freedom in Hong Kong, and join us at noon on November 1st for an epic day of protest with hundreds of other gamers who care. VIP for the president or RSVP for the protest. That's there too. Um, also, I might add, if you're going to cosplay or something, feel free to cosplay. I don't know, a pro Hong Kong version of a character? That's what I would like to see a lot of. A lot of cosplay of pro Hong Kong versions of these characters like Mei or any of the others. Just, you know, with a pro Hong Kong slant. I think that would be cool. <laughs> I mean, that's just me. Of course, you can join the uh, uh, Discord done with Blizzard. If you don't want to support Blizzard anymore, here's instructions on deleting your battle net. Uh, find new games, which is also another nice list. So if you're looking for something to hit that hit that tinge, but you don't want to play a Blizzard like Diablo, there's Titan Quest, Fate, and Grim Dawn. For Overwatch, you got Team Fortress 2, Fortnite, and Paladins. Hearthstone, Gods Unchained. Uh, Gwent, The Elder Scrolls Legends. World of Warcraft, Elder Scrolls Online, Lord of the Rings Online. Or you can come join me on Final Fantasy XIV. Come join me on Final Fantasy XIV. Let me know in the comments and I'll shoot y'all the information of where I am. We've got a, a nice guild, free company, whatever you want to call it, going and uh, yeah, it'd be fun. Anyway, StarCraft, Age of Empires, Definitive Edition, Sid Meier's, I love Sid Meier's, but I, I'm sorry, but Sid Meier's is not exactly comparable to an RTS like StarCraft. Now, Command & Conquer might be. I didn't know there was still a Command & Conquer out there. That's the Ultimate Collection. So is that like all the other old Command & Conquer games together or something? I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that one myself because uh, I love the Command & Conquer and the Red Alert series. Um, I love Civilization even though I don't know what the fudge I'm doing in it. No joke. I don't know what I'm doing. I mod and I just enjoy taking over the world or nuking it or whatever it is. But it, it just it's fun to me. I don't know what I'm doing. And Age of Empires, I've never played any of them. But uh, here's also a thing of what people are saying. Mark Rubio, Ron Wyden, Mark Kern, uh, Kevin, Jin Park. All sorts of nice things. And this, this one's a good one. I like this one. Let's bring that up. Nope, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I like that one, but that's not the one I thought it was. But it, it's it's a good little thing. The Chinese government silences any minion that opposes you and take your prize money. Eight mana. <laughs> this one, this one I wanted to look at real quick, though. Blizzard for three mana. Silences all <laughs> democracy minions. Adds five coins to your hand. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? I think that's where we're going to end it right there. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below if you have left WoW and you're looking for another game. Come try out Final Fantasy XIV. There is a free trial that you can get at any time, by the way. Um, last time I checked, it was up to level 35. So that gives you access to base classes and the job class system when it unlocks at level 30 allowing you to also do the main story and everything up to level 30 as well with a few restrictions like you can't form a party yourself but somebody can send you a party invite and you can join them uh, you can still do dungeons and other stuff and queue up with the uh, dungeon queue and things like that that's still uh, still able to do and you can't really send mail and you can't whisper people and a few other little restrictions like that but it is a free trial. Give it a shot. Let me know if you're interested in it, of course, down in the comments below. And I will put my information somewhere. You can come join me on my server and my data center if you feel like it. All right. So uh, let me know what you think about all this stuff down in the comments below. And I will talk to you later. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. Smash that like button and always subscribe for more. And of course there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.